Angelica Houston, of course, has been a singular presence on screen and stage for more than four decades for many movies, including The Grifters, The Addams Family, and Pritzi's Honor, for which she won an Oscar, I might add. And she comes from a legendary show business family. Her father, John Houston, directed more than 40 films. Well, now Ms. Houston is opening up about it all in her new book. It's a second memoir called Watch Me. And of course, we've been doing that for many years. Angelica, <laughs> good morning to you. It's good to see good you. Good morning, Savannah. Good to see you. I was going to say, you know you've had an interesting life when you need not one but two memoirs. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so a long life. When this one picks up, kind of, you, you had your early years in the first memoir, and this is your life in Hollywood, and it sounds like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit it. Uh, you talk a lot about, actually, your relationships. Was there anything that was hard to kind of delve into and relive? Well, actually, the nature of writing a book is is that the hard things are tr trying to find the proper adjective for mm -hmm. something rather than retelling a story that might have been difficult or, or painful at the time. I found um, that that uh, the writing process actually superseded the, the you know the, the facts of life. Jack Nicholson, of course, was your paramour for I think 15, 17 years. 17 years. And you really are very open in the book about that relationship. And he was kind of a bad boy in Hollywood. And well, that's not big news. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but there, yeah. but there you were right next to him. How did you handle that? And what was the process of writing about it like? Um, well, I sort of handled it on a day-to-day -day basis. And sometimes I didn't handle it so well at the time. Um, the, the writing about it actually was quite cathartic. And, um, and I showed him the book before it went to publication. So I, I got his stamp of approval. Not that I needed it, but, but it was nice to have. You write that looking back on it now, you think there were moments where, I don't know if denial is the word you'd use, but there were times where you felt like, Denial is not a river in Egypt. Yes, where, where maybe you should have known what he was up to. I knew what he was up to, but you know, the, 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 the thing about being with somebody who's that much in the public eye and who is that charming and is that charismatic is that you kind of have to go along with the program. It's not like you're going to break all those habits immediately. This book is dishy. It's interesting. It describes a Hollywood that seems very exciting. You have a lot of tales to tell. One of them, though, was disturbing. You tell a story about Ryan O'Neill, who you briefly dated. Um, and you tell about a night where he was, according to you, physically violent with you. Well, it, it's my feeling that any man who lifts a, a hand against a woman deserves to be outed, so I'll sort of leave it at that. He had no comment, of course, uh, but you left the relationship right after that, you said. Yes. Yeah. You also talk about Roman Polanski, who's a good friend, and talk about being in the strange place at the strange time. You actually happened to be at his house that day when the young woman who he was later charged with um, statutory rape for was actually right there. Of course, you didn't see anything, but you realized later what had happened? Well, actually, it was at Jack's house, mm -hmm. so um, it, it wasn't at Roman's house. Right. But um, yes, you know, uh, so far as I'm concerned, whatever happened is his business, and um, I, I wasn't there for for uh, any untoward behavior. So um, I, I can say that with with uh, some some happiness. <laughs> Did you enjoy writing the book and reliving this stuff? Um, Yes, I did. It was, uh, as I say, it was a cathartic process. It's good to relive certain things because you get a perspective. Um, I had a good time because I was also here working on Smash at the time. So, um, you know, three days intensive work on, on Smash and then the rest of the time I gave over to, to writing the book. So it was, a, it was a good discipline. There's a reason the book is called Watch Me. I really like it. Can you tell people why you gave it that title? Um, well, it was... First of all, actually, my, my uh, book agent gave me the title. I'm very grateful to him, Bill Clegg. But um, it, it, was, uh, it was an incident where I was at a dinner party at someone's house, and Tony Richardson, who is a great English director, said, oh, poor little you, you're never going to do anything with your life. You know, so much talent, so little to show for it. And I thought, hmm, watch me. So that's, <laughs> that's how it came about. And so we have. And now we can read all about it. Angelica Houston, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure as always. Thank you. Appreciate it.